we need to start it? Yeah. Can we tell the people why it is it won't start? Yeah. Okay. Hi, I'm Redneck Computer Geek, and this is my son, Johnny. Donovan, unfortunately, doesn't feel good today, so it's just going to be us, us two. Um, this video is going to be an unboxing of a 20-horsepower single-cylinder Briggs that I just purchased off of SurplusCenter.com, and... I get a lot of people asking, you know, what kind of stuff it is you get from them, and people wanting to see the unboxing, so that's what we're going to do today. But first, I figured I'd show you why it is we're doing an unboxing of a 20 horsepower Briggs. Well, unfortunately, when you end up letting a machine like this sit, they tend to end up getting rodents in the engine bay. And then the rodents end up making nests in underneath the engine shroud. It overheats. You snap a connecting rod, and next thing you know, it sounds a little like this. Oh, bug, fall. Yes. Bug, fall. Yeah, Furby fell. So, that's why we're doing the engine swap videos that'll be coming up soon. And we'll get started with our unboxing. Alright, can you go over there? Yeah. Okay. Are you going to supervise? Yeah. Okay. So in the words of Johnny, ooh, big box. Um, the shipping weight on this is 78 pounds. The box itself is 23 by 23 by 20. That's in inches for my Canadian viewers. And it's from surpluscenter.com. Grand total... Um, the engine itself was $438 at the time of purchase. I'll include a link down below. And if you happen to decide to purchase one of these, or anything from Surplus Center for that matter, do me a favor. In the checkout, there's a little thing that says uh, special note. Put recommended by Redneck Computer Geek. Let's see how many times we can make them wonder who I am. All right, so here we go. We're going to get this opened up. Johnny, can you go that way? Okay. The usual strap. Yeah. Whoa. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. All right, Johnny, over on this side. So the packaging looks really nice on this. It actually seems to be double reinforced. I'll tip it up. So as you can see, packaging is double reinforced. We'll pull out the center liner. And it looks to be saran wrapped into the box. Alright, well, that was a learning experience. I almost cut the spark plug wire right in half. I think I'm going to cut it off over here. Cut! Cut! Whoa! Gotcha! 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 Yep, tractor engine. Alright, so as we can see, we've got our Husqvarna engine here. Got extended oil drain, oil, regular standard plug. Should just click right into the original wiring harness. We've got a fuel pump on this one. And came with fuel filter. Actually looks to be decent quality. Came with an oil filter, Husqvarna. See if we can get down there and get the model number. There we go. Standard stuff. It does have the carburetor that has the safety mechanisms on it. So I'm gonna lift this out and set it on a piece of cardboard on the ground. 
I just figured in this review I'd point out one more thing about the shipping. This is actually what was in the bottom with the drive shaft going through there. And as you can see, it's actually reinforced boxes. And these boxes themselves are just regular shipping boxes. So I thought that was a pretty nifty little trick. But anyways, back to the engine. As you can see, it actually is a brand spanking new engine. There seemed to be some controversy as to whether Surplus Center actually sold brand new engines or not. And I think this probably settles it. And the other question that comes up sometimes is plug. It is a champion plug that's in this. So there's the original engine we're going to be swapping out. And as you can see, the connectors there should be about the same. And on the other side, the electrical wiring should be exactly the same. One thing I am worried about when I do the swap is whether the hood will actually fit correctly. But judging from dimensions, it should just barely fit. Good. Say bye-bye, Johnny. Bye. Is he your friend? Is he annoying? A bird. Oh, he's a bird? Oh, he's the bird for the tractor? Yeah. Okay, so he's a bird for tractors? Yeah. Can you go put the birdie on the tractor? Yeah. Perfect.